All right, it's the start of the new month and guess what time it is? No, no, your salary hasn't been created yet. But you'll be happy to know that we have come up with the top 5 apps for the month of February. So sit back, log into the Google Play Store and be ready to download all these apps. By the way, these apps are all free to download. So if you enjoy our content, do consider subscribing to our channel as well as hitting that bell icon. So hey guys, this is Robin here from Gadgets360 and without any further ado, let's get right into this video. Finding launches for your phone that fit your usage perfectly is quite a tedious task. However, we might have just found one launcher that will keep everything organized and at a thumb's length. Yeah, I am talking about ratio. Your home screen is literally the entire app section, categorized perfectly into tiles as ratio likes to call them. You can of course manually move around the apps as you please. One thing that caught my eye about the launcher is the ratio tree. In simple words, it's a one-stop tab for all your messaging needs, be it WhatsApp, Telegram or even your Insta DMs. It's still a work in progress but I do enjoy this idea. Ratio also shows the amount of time you spend per day on the right side of all the categorized apps which I think is a pretty neat feature. There are a bunch of customization settings that you can go through and make the app look the way you intend it to. Since this is the first of this month, I guess it's time to pay all the bills, be it Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hotstar or even Tinder. Oh, by the way, my colleague Shubham runs a pretty neat series called as Elemental, wherein you can know how the Tinder algorithm actually works and many more such videos. I definitely recommend you checking that out. Now moving on to the video. As the name suggests, it's a board that keeps note of all your online expenses. You can add the services you're using from the tab here. You'll have to manually type in the amount at the start but later on it keeps reminding you about the same price tag. You can set the duration to monthly or yearly depending on the service you're using. You can check your monthly total year and how much is spending for this particular month. For a yearly estimate, you can tap here. The app's UI is absolutely mesmerizing and you can also add multiple profiles if need be. Using the same theme or UI on your smartphone can sometimes be monotonous. However, if you want to try something aesthetically new on your device, you might have to root it. Sometimes it's just the smaller things like volume sliders that make all the difference. This app can change the theme of your volume sliders and you have tons of options to choose from, including iOS, Samsung's One UI and OxygenOS among others. Applying it is pretty simple. Just choose your desired volume slide style and hit the start button up top. And now you will be able to see the style you choose on your screen right away. Remember, it won't amplify your speaker's sound, it will only change the way you interact with the volume sliders. If you're someone like me who uses a ton of Bluetooth products, be it your TW Spare, your Bluetooth headphones or your beloved smartwatch, this will by far be the handiest one. As the name suggests, it's just a simple widget. You're greeted with all the Bluetooth devices you have ever connected to your phone and you can choose to place one or more than one on your home screen. This is extremely handy especially if you're in a hurry because then you don't want to waste your time digging through the settings. All you need to do is a single tap to connect to your Bluetooth device and it can also be used if you want to juggle between two devices. What's more you ask, you can change the icons of the connected devices as per your wish. Just like I've applied the AirPods Pro icon to my 2K worth TWS pair. This widget lets you switch between call and media profiles and also shows you the current battery percentage of the device. There are tons and tons of apps that help you organize your day. To-do list apps, notes apps and blah blah blah. But memory G is the one that caught my eye. The UI is completely pleasing and adding notes and to-do list on the app is a breeze. Memoryji focuses on your daily tasks and is the first thing that's being displayed once you open the app. You can create your daily tasks from here and add them to pre-built lists or you can manually make one as per your liking. You can add alarms and the app will send you a notification once it hits the timer. You can add notes under your main list to keep things more organized. You can even check your calendar and your progress to see how many tasks you have completed throughout the week. Unfortunately, adding subtasks, attachment and collaborators is only available in the premium version of the app. Well, these were our picks for the top 5 apps of the month of February. What do you guys think about this? 
Do you guys have any other such suggestions? If you do, please leave them down below in the comment section and we'll be glad to check them out. And as always, for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.